In this video I'm going to demonstrate the new Rover Quick Tune script. Uh, this Lewis script's purpose in life is to quickly find reasonably good gains for the three most important uh, controllers in, in ArgoPilot Rover. So those are in order. Uh, the turn rate controller or steering controller, the speed controller, and then finally the position controller, velocity controller. So uh, the way this script works is very much like how a human would, would tune a vehicle. So it slowly raises the, the gains until it sees, them, sees the vehicle oscillate and then it backs off the gains. Now this script works while the vehicle's in circle mode. So you'll see there's a little uh, open area behind me. Um, I'm gonna put the vehicle into circle mode uh, with a two meter radius, four meter diameter. Uh, and then I'm going to enable the script. So as the vehicle is driving around and around and around, it's going to be increasing those gains, looking for oscillation, then backing them off. And um, then we'll see at the end um, if the vehicle drives well or not. So the first thing the vehicle does in circle mode is move to the edge of the circle, and then it should just drive around and around. The speed is set to 0.8 meters per second, so this is the circ speed parameter. There's also a circ radius parameter which controls the size of the circle. So that seems to be working. Now, uh, back on Mission Planner, I have used the auxiliary function screen and I've set up a scripting one function. So low stops the script, uh, medium starts it, and high saves the gains. So I will switch it to mid. And then we can look at the meshes tab. There, and it has started tuning the steering rate uh, D-gain. Now while it's tuning actually, um, you can monitor how well it's doing. So right here I have the PID desired and the PID achieved displayed. You can see how well it's doing. There's also this PID S rate. So that's the slew rate um, or basically the oscillation measurement. So you'll see it's very close to zero at the beginning, but once it starts oscillating, this number should climb up to two or five or even higher. Let's zoom in a little bit. If you look very closely, you can actually see it oscillate once it uh, once the gains get high. Yeah, so it's now already finished the it's already finished the steering rate tuning. It's moved on to the speed tuning now. Like I said, there are three stages. So it does the P, sorry, the D gain first. Uh, waits and, you know, raises the gain until that oscillates and backs it off. Then it does the P gain, and then finally it does the feed forward gain. Uh, the feed forward gain is actually done a little differently. Um, all it does is just drive the vehicle around in a circle and um, just collects data. And then from that it can calculate what the feed forward value should be. Yeah, so it's done the, it's now completed the speed tuning and it's moving on to the final axis, which is the velocity controller.
I'm sorry, it had actually, sorry, it has now just completed the, uh, the speed tuning, sorry. Now it's moving on to the velocity controller. By the way, you want to set the, um, the speed of the vehicle to a comfortable speed. Uh, so comfortable is some more, uh, you know, speed where it uses, you know, between 30 and 60% of its throttle. This vehicle's top speed is only uh, between one and one and a half meters per second. So I've set it to a 0 0.8 meters per second. So it's just completed the velocity controller D gain, and now it's doing the P gain. Yeah, so it's now completed the velocity controller P gain, so it's all done. So I will uh, now push the button to save the gains. So back here on the auxiliary functions screen, I will now push the high well button. Now it's saved all of the gains. So I will uh, retake control. This is acro mode. So acro mode does make use of the steering controller and the uh, speed control, so it's a reasonable test of, of the gains. You know, it's, it's performing totally fine. Is there a little bit of overshoot there, perhaps? Yeah, a little bit of overshoot. Anyway, um, Anyway, the script seems to have worked, so, um, you know, if people are interested in giving it a try, please do.